Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Another beautiful day that our Father in heaven, not our Father in Kansas, <laughs> not our Father in Birmingham, Alabama, Roll Tide, not our Father in Huntsville, Alabama, my hometown, not our Father in Phoenix, Arizona, not our Father in Cleveland, Ohio, but our Father in heaven. Hallowed be his holy and righteous name, the only one who passes out days. So this gift called a present, y'all, is, is, is bestowed upon us by one. One. So we thank our Father for this breath, this breath, and this breath, regardless of the pain. That's how I feel. Regardless of the situation, regardless of the condition, regardless of what I'm going through. Thank you, Father, for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. I don't know any of anyone else, how you anyone, anybody else feel. You may feel the same way, perhaps, per se, but I'm grateful, Father. When I was first diagnosed with cancer back on January 28th, 2021, a few days later, I had someone say to me, you know, um, I can't watch you go through this and um, uh, and I got a disconnect from you and we can't be friends. And I don't know this might be kind of, may, may seem kind of harsh, but I, I watched someone else go through the same thing and I just can't bear to see you go through it. I mean, I had just been diagnosed. So you take care of yourself and I, I pray you make it. <laughs> As I leave this alone, I'm like, well, well, what the fruit cup? Well, 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 okay, okay. So I smiled about it, but then it kind of, bruised me a little bit because a little pride within myself, yes, and a little root of bitterness uh, kicked in, you know, and, and it made me feel like I had been wrong. But people can be friends and or enemies to whomever they choose to be. Some uh, 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 enemies are inadvertent and some friends uh, are purposeful. Some enemies are pur purposeful and some friends are inadvertent. So I, a little bit, a root of bitterness took part you know, and, and hit me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I started thinking, who does this person think they are? I started feeling unpleasant. That's what bitterness is. You feel unpleasant and angry and hostile and sour and resentful. So when we are offended, that's when I'm trying to go and refuse to give God, um, the problem or our father the problem when we are offended and refuse to forgive and receive our father's comfort it's just a matter of time before a root of bitterness springs up and that's over in hebrews 12 and 15 it says uh looking carefully lest anyone fall short of the grace of god semicolon lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble and by this, many become defiled. I mean, a lot of us defile ourselves, put our own heart in jail when we don't forgive or we just take anger too far. Or we allow pride to dig a hole in us and plant that seed of rudeness. And then that root of business takes place. And if you know anything about dandelions or weeds, you have to, you have to pull it up by the roots. If not... It's just going to grow back. You cut the grass with no dandelion killer or you don't uh, pull up all the dandelions. A few days later, you got a pretty long but a bunch of yellow dots on it. Dandelions, dead spots, brown spots, and gray spots in your lawn as I leave this alone. So bitterness is, is when we put our own heart in jail, throw away the key because we refuse to forgive or we take on this pride who are, who are you to hurt me? I can't believe she hurt me. I can't believe he hurt me. We hurt our father. Raise your hand if you're sure every day. In commission, omission or something. So I was talking to a partner yesterday, an old army buddy of mine. He was so hot and mad and angry about his divorce. And I said, bro, let me tell you what mama told me when I got divorced. When I was two, we shot of a cannon. When we shot each other out of a cannon. Um... Damn it, you ain't divorced. You ain't dead, you divorced. And he laughed. And I said, bro, you been mad 
for so long. When you when, when I served with you, you was angry. When I was in the field with you, you you was angry. When I saw you in D.C., Maryland, uh, uh, Roswell, Virginia, you were angry. You know, when I saw you at the Pentagon, you were angry. Walter Reed, Bethesda Naval Hospital, you were angry. And he started laughing. I said, bro, ask the Lord to pull up that root of bitterness. So we prayed and the tears flowed from both of us. And please, Father, for the person who has a root of bitterness, and they keep thinking they have self-control, whether they're out of control, losing control. And that root of bitterness is digging in your crawl space. It's digging in your mind and heart. It's digging you and causing you to be unpleasant and, and angry and sour and hostile and resentful. That's a lot for one person. I've been there, y'all. I've been there as I land on Father's spacecraft. So, Father, please dress up this vine. Please pull up all these root of bitterness, past pain, unmet need, and unresolved issues. All of us are going to uh, uh, have to endure up under. A lot of y'all are going through past pains, unmet needs, and unresolved issues right now. A lot of us are. Lord, please pull up this root of bitterness within all of us, those of us who can say this to you and within ourselves. You're unpleasant. You're angry. You're hostile. You're sour and resentful. Because someone offended you, you refuse to forgive them, and you refuse to receive our Father's comfort when we don't forgive. When we don't forgive, me first, we put our own heart in jail, and we throw away the key. The key is to ask our Father to bless you to forgive, bless you with the desires to forgive, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, the soulful, the beautiful, the prayerful, the faithful. Ask Him to bless you to forgive. Our Father does not give us amnesia. But he does bless us with spiritual amnesia, which is acting as though the offense never occurred, although it occurred. It's like a spiritual blunt force trauma to the back of the head that causes you to forget. But the more you try to hold on to remembering that pain, remember that offense, not forgiving, unforgiving, that root of bitterness is going to wipe you out. How many years you've been mad? Think about it. How many years you've been angry? Think about it. Some of y'all have been as angry as long as you've been married. Because the person you're married to has never, ever asked for forgiveness and they're still hurting you. I'm not advocating divorce. But we got to be aware that those we hurt the most, most of the time, are those that are closest to us. Lord, our Father, have a bless us to pull up. You pull it up. Bless us to identify and give you this root of bitterness so you can pull it up. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Peace.